up? So this video is all about water. We're gonna talk about water, okay. I gotta drink more water, I know. Yeah, of course, you think I'm just gonna say drink more water, make sure you're getting your water in, all that kind of stuff. But like I said before, creating your root system has a lot more to do with just your behaviors. It has to do with how you think about it. It has to do with knowing why you're doing something. And that's something that's kind of taken out of learning now. We're just kind of told what to do when we put our trust in these people that look awesome or that say that they're in an awesome spot, but we don't really know hey, well, why do we need to drink more water? What's the purpose? What's the reason for it? And what's gonna make me really motivated? So, um, for instance, the best shape I've ever been in my life and the best health I've ever been in my life came because I changed my mentality as to why I was doing the type of eating that I was doing or why I was doing the type of working out I was doing. And I'll give you the example now. And I want you to take this through this whole entire Root 5 program because it's really important. And so, I had done a bunch of diet programs, I had done a bunch of exercises, I had done a bunch of uh, programs overall, and I always, I could never get over cravings. I could never get over wanting specific foods and just kind of caving in and then feeling guilty. Just that same thing that you've been going through, that guilt trip, it would happen over and over and over again, and I just couldn't get it. Because I was always just trying to work on my body. I was always just trying to, to look better or, you know, be fit. And what ended up happening is, I'm gonna get real serious with you, this is an open canvas right here. I ended up passing a parasite. So what that meant, or like how do you know? Everybody always asks those questions. So I'll just tell you, pretty much I went and got a colonic done. Uh, that'll be one of the bonuses you get after you finish this Route 5 section. And uh, so I got a colonic done and I ended up going back home. I did number two, you wipe, and then there's nothing there. I was like, whoa, what's going on? So I look in, I look in and you should always be looking, by the way. It kind of tells you how your body's doing. It tells you what's going on inside of there. And there was a little ball of a worm. There was a little worm ball in the toilet. And I was like, eee. I wasn't sure. I thought my mind was playing tricks on me. So I called Jordan in and he came in and yeah, we looked it up and it was a round worm. And it was something I had learned about and it was actually applied to my life now. This was real, this was happening. I had just passed this thing from my body out now. It's out, yay, awesome, it's out, cool. But now what? Now I realize, okay, the stuff that I had learned was actually applicable to me. And I, had, I have memory issues. I have trouble remembering a lot of things. Like you could tell me your name and five minutes later I forget it even though I'd, I'd done all the tricks of the trade, saying it five times, thinking of an animal, thinking of a town, thinking of a street name, thinking of somebody else you know. I've done it all, and it doesn't work for me. And so I had um, gone for you know, help in this area and found out that I have a very big adrenal fatigue. I have uh, pop probably yeast candida overgrowth. And so now I started a health journey, a health journey. See how I even just reframe that? I started a health journey and I've reframed how I think about food now to fuel my body in a way that doesn't always only promote really, really good health, but it's also making sure to kill things that are not supposed to be in my body. Kill off parasites that are eating away at stuff that I'm putting in my body. And I just gotta make sure not to feed those things. So I'm in the best shape of my life. I look great, I feel great. And it's because of something kind of sucky that happened and a reframing of my mind. Now I'm not working towards just getting a slam in body, I'm working towards killing these things and getting better memory. That was a bigger motivation for me and it was just a reframe of the mind. Now, if I just tell you that, oh, you need to drink more water, like if somebody told me you need to stop eating carbs, you think that would have motivated me enough to just not eat carbs? It'll happen, you'll have a better body if you stop, eat, if you stop eating carbs, which is not true by the way. There's plenty of ways to eat and we'll go over that later as well. But Reframing why you need to drink water. I want you to think of a river versus a pond. Now, which one, if you were really, really thirsty, say you'd been out in the wilderness for like five days, four days, even a whole day, just one day, right? And you're walking, you're hot, you're perspired, you're tired, and you see a river. How much more excited and likely are you to drink that water for sustained life versus go ahead and drinking water from a pond that's all congealed, there's a little stuff floating on the top, you're not too sure about it. Which one do you think has more cleansing properties in it? Which one do you think is safer to be drinking? 
obviously the river. It's running, it's moving, there's constant movement in it, it's being filtered through waters. And rather than a pond, it's just kind of sitting there and just kind of and a lot of times one of the feelings that we're trying to get rid of when we're trying to eat healthier and do all these great things is we're trying to feel better, right? You want to feel great. You want to feel awesome. You want to feel in motion. You want to have more energy. You want to do these things. Now, I want you to also think about if you were to attribute that energy, that motion to either a river or a pond, which one would you attribute it to? A river. A river has movement. A river can move things through. You've seen if there's a rainstorm and a river comes, oh my goodness, whoosh. It, can, it has a lot of power to do amazing things. But if a pond just overflows, you know, it just kind of grows, it can make flood some stuff up, and yeah, okay. Not that much power behind a pond versus a river, the power of a river. And now I want you to apply that to your body. So now say you're not really drinking too much water, you're not really drinking much at all, your body is just kind of sitting as a river, as a, as a pond. Your body's just sitting as a pond. It's just sitting there. There's not a lot of movement going on. You're not going to feel in motion. Your, your, your body's not getting any motion on the inside. It's not going to apply to the outside then either, right? Rather than if you were drinking constantly, your body could flow like a river. Things would be moving through. You'd be pooping better. <laughs> Let me just put it out there for you. You're gonna poop a lot better. Things are gonna feel a lot better because things won't get stuck so much inside of you. A lot of the times, a lot of our sicknesses is because things are stuck inside of us. And I'm gonna, I can go really deep into this video, but I really wanna just wanna talk about movement. I wanna talk about movement because movement is what we're really honestly after. We want our brain to think clearly, right? Would you, so think about if your brain is not getting enough water. If it's not, there's no movement inside your brain, you're gonna feel clogged and, and clotted and, and foggy. You're not gonna make good decisions. You're gonna have a bad memory, things of that nature. So drinking a, a really decent amount of water. So if, here's a fun little fact. Let me throw this in here too. Did you know that the absolute last sign that you're dehydrated, the last, one of the last communications from your body outward to you that you need more water is a dry mouth is actual thirst. One of the first signs is hunger. So a lot of the times our body's trying to communicate with us and unfortunately we don't understand what our body is trying to say because we haven't taken the time to learn it. So we're gonna, during this root five system, not only gonna give you the basic things that you need to make sure that you're doing and thinking about, we're also going to make sure that you understand how the body's trying to communicate with you. Make sense? Yeah, right? The body's really, really cool. It's your buddy. It's the, it's the, you gotta think of, of your body as your best friend. Your body's your best friend, it's trying to communicate with you. It wants to hang out with you. It wants to get to know you. You wanna get to know it, all that awesome stuff. So one of the biggest things is water. It is very simple. It is very basic. Yes, the basis of this video is to tell you to make sure you're drinking an abundance of water. If you feel like you're drinking a lot of water, you could probably be drinking more. Now, how do you know if you are drinking enough? I'm not even gonna give you the whole you know, baseline, of course, you hear it all over the place. This is something you hear everywhere is you need to drink half your weight in ounces of water. Yeah, that's cool. That's great. But what about people who work out a lot? What about people who sweat versus people who don't sweat? Those are all going to make really big differences, right? So, you know, if you're perspiring a lot and you're getting a lot of water out, hey, stuff's coming out the end of the river. The river's going down. So if you're not filling back up, you're still going to get stuck. If you're not sweating as much, you might not need as much water because there's still a lot of water in that river. So thinking about all those different things, do you sweat a lot? If you sweat a lot, you need to make sure you're replenishing that with more water taken in. If you, <laughs> hey, maybe you're one of those people who pee every five minutes. Some people are. So if you are one of those people that passes water really quickly, you need to make sure you're replenishing really quickly. It's a great place to start, the half, half your body weight now. It's a great place to start. However, this is what you really want to look at. You want to look at your body's communication. Your body's trying to communicate with you when it does pee. When you pee, take a look at it. Is it bright yellow? Is it yellow? Is it br almost brown? If it's almost brown, you need to make sure you're drinking like a bajillion gallons of water. <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but you wanna make sure that your water is very light yellow to a clear. Both of those are pretty good safe zones. Once you get towards the brown, your body is really trying to tell you, hey, I'm gunking up, stuff's not going right, and you know, obviously, if your if your pee is also brown, you're probably not going a lot. 
Hey, you know, this is a very strange. I love talking about pee. I love talking about poop. It's how the body kind of tries to communicate with us in certain ways. So get some water in. I want you to kind of tell me what your baseline is, half your body weight in ounces. If you're working out already and you're doing that, you're, you perspire a lot. Say you lift your arm and you perspire. <laughs> That's great. It's great to perspire. Your body's releasing toxins and all that kind of stuff. Just make sure you're replenishing that. I want you to go ahead. You can email me back. You can go ahead and comment on this video. You can do whatever you want. You can text me, communicate with me. Let me know how much water you're going to be drinking today. Set that standard right now and let's get going. Your first one every single day.